Forward head posture, a serious epidemic, getting worse as the minutes go by. I blame this on technology. Today, the smartphone, the computer, laptops, iPads, and the list goes on. The bottom line is the head weighs 12 pounds, putting the head in a forward position for every inch an additional 10 pounds. Two inches forward, 32 pounds. Three inches forward, 42 pounds. If you add up the hours, the days, and the years of keeping the head in this position, this is putting a tremendous load against gravity, causing significant degeneration, arthritis, herniated discs, spondylosis. These conditions are going to cause rapid degeneration of the neck leading to inflammation and pinched nerves. The bottom line is dysfunction, degeneration, and pain. I'm going to address the anterior or the front neck flexors. These are the deep neck flexors that attach to the vertebrae in the front part of the vertebrae in the neck that are responsible to maintain good head posture. The forward head posture, that additional 12 pounds with each an additional 10 pounds for every inch going forward is weakening these deep anterior neck flexors. So our job today is to show you some things that you can do to strengthen these deep neck flexors. The main muscles that we're concerned about are the longest capitis and the longest coli. These two muscles make up the front part of those important stabilizers in our neck that allows our neck to stay upward. And when these muscles become weak from this forward head posture, these muscles will eventually fatigue, causing other muscles behind the skull, the suboccipital muscles, the sternocleidomastoid muscles, the upper trapezius muscles, as well as the other posterior muscles of the neck to become stretched as a result of these muscles trying to compensate from the significant weakness and imbalance that's going on from these front deep neck flexors. Forward head posture is a very serious condition. There are many neurological ties that goes on with our nervous system when this imbalance is off. Clenching of your teeth, headaches, pain, tingling, numbness, cramping, poor appetite, difficulty breathing. Our vital capacity is restricted up to 30%. Our immune system becomes depleted. This can affect asthma, the lungs. The list goes on and on. Realize that forward head posture is a condition that you need to take seriously. Today I'm gonna to show you two great exercises, two great things that you can start doing to help your forward head posture. Remember, as the head goes forward, degeneration accelerates rapidly. The first exercise I'd like you to do is stand up straight, arms, hands facing forward. Stick the chest up a little bit. I want you to concentrate as if you have a line or a string attaching to the top of your skull, pulling upwards. I want you to tuck the chin in. Make yourself have a double chin. Tuck the chin in. And I want you to do chin tucks, where you're gonna just bring the chin straight back behind me. You're not going to bend your head backwards and you're not going to bend your head forwards. You're going to be looking straight ahead and you're going to tuck the chin in. You're going to hold it five seconds. And relax. Chin straight back. Five seconds. Relax. When you do that, when you bring the chin back, you should feel a pulling underneath the skull you're stretching the suboccipital muscles. But as you hold that position, you're strengthening the deep flexors, which are responsible of holding your head in the right position. So you can do this, five seconds you'll hold each one, 12 to 15 repetitions, you can do two to three sets, and you can do those daily. The second part of this exercise, we're gonna use resistance. When you feel that you've mastered the first part, and you feel like it's getting too easy. 
you're going to use a towel. We're going to do the exact type of exercise, exactly the same, but we're going to use resistance of our arms. We'll take the towel, put it behind our head, okay? We'll do the same position, the string pulling up, so we keep our posture nice and straight, tuck the chin in, and as you push back, you're going to resist five seconds with your arms on the towel and relax. Chin straight back. Five seconds. Relax. Chin jutting straight back. Five seconds. Relax. The same exercise, 12 to 15 repetitions, two to three sets. You can do them daily, although if the muscles feel weak and sore, wait 48 hours and do them every other day. Generally, every other day should be suffice, depending upon your condition. So the deep cervical neck flexors are one of the utmost important muscles we need to focus with, particularly when it comes to forward head posture. I ask you to be more aware. Have a lumbar support or a pillow behind your back while sitting. That will help your shoulders come back. Keep the chest out. Focus on jutting the chin down. If you're in a position long periods of time, writing, typing, texting, using the computer, try to take more frequent breaks every 30 minutes or so. Do not keep your head in that forward head position. You're going to get deformation and change of those muscles, those ligaments affecting the discs and the ultimate problem will be pain dysfunction. The most common questions I get is, what if it's hurting me when I do it? If you have disc herniations, degeneration, pathology, burning, tingling, or any of the symptoms are getting worse while doing the exercise, you either stop the exercise, start it up another day, and start slowly. If your body is telling you something, you need to listen to it. Do not fight your symptoms, do not fight your pain while doing any exercise. Another very important note, for those people who have very bad forward head posture, you may have trouble starting this exercise because the more forward your head goes, the less of a chin tilt, the less your, your head is going to be able to go backwards. So if you're forward up here, you got to push backwards, just do your best. Most important, try to keep the chin parallel with the ground. Don't flex your head down or up. And I want you to bring your chin in as if you have a double chin. So as you go back, the head should feel as if it's coming up and back. Okay? Just like this. There's no tilt, it's straight back. And hold that position. Remember forward head posture is a very serious problem. It's gonna be a very serious epidemic. And the next four to five years with our children developing hunchback, developing dowager's uh, hump, the big swelling that you're getting behind the lower neck, that's all related to forward head posture. So I ask you to do these exercises regularly. I ask you to share this video, please, for those that can benefit. Subscribe if you haven't. So hopefully you can get a whole lot more information of our new videos coming out. And most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.